This is the third and last video in the series about the modular woodworking bench. Like I said in the previous video, I'll try to show everything it can offer and how to join the modules together. When I finished my previous multifunction woodworking bench, some of you asked me whether it could be scaled for smaller workshops. Well, my first idea was to make it modular, and finally, using the same building system, I've designed this modular bench. It's an addition system where pieces are glued together until they reach the desired thickness, so it's going to be easier to build and will require fewer tools. I'll use it as a mobile tool stand so that I can work more freely with tools on the table, like a lathe. Attaching the modules to one another is pretty easy. First, I have to loosen and rotate these two plywood pieces. Now, I must lock the wheels of one of the modules and bring the other closer until they touch. And lastly, fasten the connecting screw. This kind of wheels allows us to adjust their height so that the modules are level. That's one of the advantages of using these wheels. Though they're harder to lock than others, once they're locked, they provide more stability to the bench and their height can be adjusted. If the floor is perfectly level, you might be able to use an ordinary set of wheels. I've installed this gear-driven vise. It's called Twin Turbo Vise and offers a wider range of advantages compared to our regular vise. We can choose between two speeds depending on our needs. It has wide opening jaws to hold large work pieces, the separation between the threaded rods is also wider than usual, and you can hold pieces on their ends without the vise tilting to one side. Of course, you could also install a normal front vise. With this vise, I can use the bench docks I made for my previous multifunction bench. They will allow me to hold pieces in various ways for many kinds of jobs. The joining mechanism is sturdy enough to hold large pieces spanning both modules. I will also be able to use the whole fast clamps I made a few months ago. With them, I can hold long pieces on the front of the bench. I've also attached two T-tracks on the front to allow for more versatility when holding work pieces. I've bought two small cast holdfast clamps that will also come in handy. They're even faster and easier to use, and are just as good at holding. The plans for this modular bench on my website include all of these accessories, and I'll also leave links to the materials I used in the video description. The modules have great storage capacity, with removable drawers of various sizes. I can swap drawers or take them out so I can have my tools on hand anywhere. I install organizer boxes inside that I can also move around and swap. I won't lock them so I can access their contents quickly. I'm planning on making all the stands in the same way, so I can swap drawers and boxes between all the stands and benches in my workshop. This time I'll use grooves rather than drawer slides. I think both approaches have their advantages and disadvantages. Of course, slides make it easier to open the drawers, but by doing this I can have bigger drawers and at the same time reducing weight and costs, besides obtaining more mobility, like I said earlier. 
We should be careful when opening them completely, because they don't have stops. I applied some grease on the grooves, and they opened with relative ease, considering the weight that some of them bear. We could also make trays to place the organizer boxes on, or doors instead of drawers. This is completely optional. I can also remove them to use clamps between the top and the bench. For the sake of aesthetics, I glued the near beach MDF to the fronts of the drawers. I didn't attach a back part to the modules. I left very little space between the drawers, so they'll barely get any dust, and I didn't think it was necessary for stability and firmness reasons. Now I'll show you another configuration when joining the modules. To do that, I'll remove the two back parts that allow us to insert our saws and chisels to keep them on hand at all times. They're also meant to leave a small gap between the modules and a wall. These pieces are completely optional as well. I unlock the wheels and use the same screws to join the modules. I made two holes in each leg, but I think that fastening the bottom screws is enough. We can lock and level the wheels again, or leave it mobile. I've made two modules for now. The advantage of this system is that little by little, you can make more modules and they will always be compatible with one another. Scaling the modules is very easy. You only need to print out the cutting list and the exploded 3D drawing that shows the reference of each piece. If you want to make it wider, look for all the horizontal pieces and add or subtract the difference. If you want to change its height, do the same with all the vertical parts, for example if you want to use different wheels. You can also make the legs longer and not install wheels, or you could make one longer module with a leg in the middle. If you're interested in making this bench, I recommend watching all the videos for my previous multifunction bench. The design is very similar, but some steps were different, and you might find ideas that are better suited for your tools or the way you work. I'm going to continue building the modular bench where I left off in the previous video. First, I'll leave the beach finger joint top completely flat with a hand plane. After that, I'll mark all the holes on the top for the hole fast clamps and the bench dogs. I'll drill the holes with my drill press tamp to ensure they're straight and square. I'll also use a hand router to chamfer the holes. Now I can sand the bench tops and apply two coats of my oil varnish blend. I'll cut the back parts of the benches from the same board I used for the top. After cutting them to size, I'll use the planer to shape them down to the required thickness. From the same board, I'll also cut the small pieces that will act as spacers. Once they've been cut down to size, I can glue them together. I place the pieces in each module so that I can mark the holes I already drilled in the modules in order to join them all together. First, I make sure they're at the same height as the top. I drill the holes with a column drill. I have to remove the tops momentarily, so that I can place the threaded inserts that hadn't been placed yet. Thank you. 
After cutting the T-tracks to size, I fastened them to each of the modules. Now I can cut all the drawer parts. There's a lot of drawers, so this will take a while. I'll also sand all the visible edges in groups of 20 pieces so that I can finish sooner. I'll use my 3D router and a countersink bit to drill all the holes that will allow me to join the drawers together. And with a bandsaw, I'll machine the sides of the necessary drawers so that I can place the organizer boxes. To make this joining process faster, I'll use my old jig. As always, I pre-drill the positions of the screws first with a bit, apply a little wood glue and place the screws. This way the bond will be stronger. Now I'll cut the drawer fronts. I'll use 4mm thick beach veneer and BF. This step is completely optional, and I'm only doing it for the sake of aesthetics. I'll cut and mark them, ensuring there's continuity on the veins. I apply glue and stick them to the front of the drawers in twos. I'll use my old multifunction workbench to cut the drawer bottoms. This way I can show you how it works. I think the idea would be easy to adapt to these modular benches, but naturally we wouldn't have such a big support surface for the board. I've varnished the bottoms with matte water-based varnish and drilled one to use as reference to drill the rest. I've also varnished the rest of the drawer parts, so all that's left is to fasten the bottoms. I'll use a jig so that it'll jut out the same length on both ends. Now I can insert them in the modules and attach their handles. In order to do that, I made a very simple jig to speed up the process. That's all for today. See you soon.